dogs. I might have slightly too many of them. And in fact, I like them so much, I ended up making them their very own skyscraper. And yeah, I guess it does tower over all the other buildings here, but you know what? Look how many of them are still sitting out in the cold. I feel terrible for them. So today I decided out of the kindness of my heart, we are building them a new home. But then you're probably wondering, Tadpole, where are you going to put this home? Well, clearly I'm not putting it next to a creeper. And if you've been following my Twitch, you know we don't really have that much more room in the city to build something like this. Speaking of which, go follow me on Twitch if you're not already. I do stupid stuff like this all the time there. But then I realized the perfect spot was sitting here all along just behind the tower. Now, as you may be able to tell from this Liberty Square and, you know, big statue signs, I wanted to put the Statue of Liberty here, but I don't know how to make the Statue of Liberty, so I thought, what's the next best thing? And then I thought, and I thought, and I kept thinking, it's been six months, and I don't know, I want to put something here made out of copper. So why not a copper dog? Now, that's all fine and good, but I don't actually know that I have the copper. I also have the memory of a guppy, and this is the last thing I even remember using copper for at all. So, hey! Hey, buddy, do we have any leftover copper? Okay. You could have just said no. Oh, heck, yes, we do have leftover copper. That's a little more than like two and a half stacks. I, I like the idea of this. I swear I have more of it somewhere. Two cop. Come on. I gotta have more somewhere. And before one of you smart Alice goes, Tadpole, you literally made an entire house out of copper. I, I literally don't use it for anything else. Where did all of it go? This has to be a joke. If it's not just down here in my mind, I'm going to lose it. How do I have no copper anywhere? What? What? Well, okay, I forget that the world is turning eight years old in a couple weeks, so fine. These chunks probably spawned before copper was even a thing. Whatever. You know what? Three stacks is not the worst thing in the world. Let's get started with that. Oh, whoops. I forgot that this is literally just a big dirt area. Let's make a base for it, I guess. <laughs> I would be humiliated if I told you how many times I had to redo this. This looks like it's about the size I think I should need it. There's a little bit of overhang around the sides, but you know what? It is what it is. And while realistically, I don't really know how big this dog is gonna be, th this just feels like the perfect size. Fellas, I don't know how obvious it is to you. It is two in the morning for me right now. So if you think this project is as pretty as my tired brain does, please leave a like. Okay, so what does that look like? Oh, I like that. I know that that's like literally nothing so far, but I think the placement is just where I want it. Uh, what are we gonna fill in the inside of this with? Hold on, what's over here? Andesite, sure! What a perfect decision. <laughs> Is it too late to ask why am I doing this? I'm literally in college. I could be out going to like a party or something and I'm worried about my freaking dogs in Minecraft. Let's be honest. You've seen my videos. You know I'm not getting invited to parties. Anyway, what were we doing? Oh, the, the dog. That's right. I don't know how I feel that some of this is waxed and not, but beggars can't be choosers. Okay, where do I want to put his little feetsy? Yeah, that seems cute for his front paws. I'll figure out the back later. I just want to get like his front half looking good because if I mess that up, it's going to be a mess all the way up. Ooh, wait, no. I don't like how close his feet are together. Let's spread this out just a little bit. Does that look big enough? Like his front foot's gonna be coming up from there. I'm gonna be honest. I can't really tell. Let's make the whole thing first. His head is what I'm really worried about because if I mess up the head, I messed up the entire thing. That's about as primitive as it gets, but you can sort of see what I'm going for. I feel like this almost looks like a bear thus far, but I like that. That's cute. What I don't like is I'm getting very close to being out of this copper. I need to find more of it. Now, lucky me, I do still have this stack of the ore, but I know for a fact that's not going to be enough. I still just want to see how much it gives, though. Goodness, that's a ton of copper. What? Okay, I'm not going to complain after all. Oh, I forgot that I use all of these for glass to begin with. Okay, so while that smelts, I'm fairly confident that I have more copper somewhere else in the world. I just need to find it. I know I have mined this stuff multiple times at this point. And I think I know just the place where I did it, too. If memory serves, I've mined some of it over in this area. Oh, wait, also, speaking of this area, I don't know if this has ever been in a video. This was basically just like a cute little quarry area that I started for 1.18. Oh, wait, 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 I have to show you over here. Look at this little garden that I created. It's the cutest thing ever. I have this adorable little frog statue, and I called her Lily. I love it. Sorry, this had, like, nothing to do with anything. I just completely forgot. I had this area until I'm like, wait a minute, I need copper. I don't know. If you want to see me make a video here, because I'm pretty sure I've done all of this on Twitch, leave a like. If we get to like 300 likes or something, I can come out here and do something. Well, shoot. I don't think I have any copper here. I have one last hope, and then if it's still not there, I just don't have any copper. Please have copper. Please have copper. Yes, copper. Oh my gosh. I was so concerned. Oh, that's still not that much copper. Okay, whatever. I'm not going to complain. We have a good amount of copper here. I'm going to try and bring it all back. Hopefully, whatever I grab is enough but if not, I know I can come back. 
When I said I was gonna let this stuff smell for an hour, I thought, oh, ha ha, funny joke. Did not turn out to be a joke. It's literally been an hour and a half of this stuff smelting. But you know what? We got a lot of copper. I also decided during that time, I need to incorporate some other things into the build. Because, you know, I figured the little guy could use, like, eyes and a collar and stuff. Ow, ew, I didn't realize that had happened. Oh, that's much better. Oh my, I completely forgot how little of this we had done. And actually, instead of going up top, I think what I'll do is I do want to get the legs done. Because these are sort of going to determine the whole layout of the dog itself. Okay, I kind of thought that this would be a little bit more rough, but I really like how this turned out. In my defense, I have never had a dog, so I don't know if this is like horribly inaccurate or something. But like, that's roughly dog shaped, I think. Ooh, it doesn't really look like he's sitting on the leg. We'll move it back just a little bit. So look at it, this. That is incredibly cartoon. But like, I think that could be cartoony in a cute way, you know? Yeah, I mean, it definitely looks like it's sitting a little weird. I can definitely redo the back legs. I should have waited to do that till the end. Overall, though, this is looking really nice. I just need to like actually continue it all the way around the outside. And never in my wildest dreams did I think I'd be using gold as scaffolding. I know this is horribly premature, but I was thinking, what should we name this thing? Like, personally, if I get a dog, I'm naming that thing like Charlemagne or Odysseus. I'm well aware that that's not a normal name for a dog. It sounds like the dude's gonna go fight a Cyclops, but like, I don't know, what else do you name a copper dog? If you have any better names, leave them in the comments. Yeah, looking at it now, I'm starting to realize why people don't freehand these. Oh, its posture just looks so weird. I almost gave it like frog legs. How do you do a dog correctly? Oh, this just doesn't feel right. I don't know what I did wrong with this. I can genuinely say, when I started this video, I did not think I would be focusing this much on a dog's rear end. But you know what? It's life's little moments that make it special. <laughs> yeah, that looks like he's sitting down. Yes! His legs make him look like he's been in a car crash. I don't care. He looks like he's sitting, and that's something I haven't gotten this entire time. Oh my goodness, finally. Okay, how do we fix- Oh, come on. Get out of here. Oh, I somehow made his legs worse. Hold on. Oh my gosh, finally, it looks like a dog is sitting down. I don't know how much of that I'm actually going to leave in. I have been spending, like, literally 45 minutes getting a dog who sit on his ass and look good doing it. I have a newfound respect for Instagram models. This is not easy. And look, I even gave him his own little name tag. He's so happy with it. Too bad I didn't give him a name but I love this little guy. I'm starting to understand why people get dogs in the first place, but that's beside the point. I can't keep fawning over the little doggy. We actually need to make an inside for this because, like, looks pretty bare as of now. Now, admittedly, I don't have any, like, grandiose plans for this. My big thing is, having never owned a dog and not really knowing what the inside of a doghouse looks like, I know dogs always love to jump on furniture when they're not supposed to. So, I don't know. I'm gonna fill this thing with, like, little couches or something. What kind of wood would be really dog friendly? I think Birch just screams that it wants a dog. I want a dog! So for this room, I'm gonna make as many couches and like little things that the doggies can jump up on. You know, all the things that the humans say they're never allowed to jump up on. And I'll even give them some nice carpeting in case they gotta go use the restroom while they're in here. The doggies will never have to go outside into the cold again. Oh, and look at this. In the pouring rain at night, I'm able to save them. You all get to sleep inside tonight. Here, eat up. Have some nummy nummy meat. Look at it. Oh, they're getting the place wet, but they love it. Goodness, I have way too many dogs in here. Well, fellas, this is one of the weirder videos I've made in a while, but thank you guys so much for watching. If you made it this far into the video, I would really appreciate it if you left a like, and if you haven't already, it would warm my heart if you subscribed. And I'll catch you guys next time.